Hi, I'm going to give an overview now of a 25 meter white light NPR uh, box camera. Basically, this has a resolution of 700 TBL and the significance of NPR is number plate recognition. And ideally where this will be used is where you want to use white light rather than would say the alternative which would be infrared uh, to give nighttime very clear readings of um, and uh, reg plates on cars. So that's obviously a very, very important thing. So you're trying to cover with, say, uh, a driveway or a roadway entrance, something like that. And what you want to make sure is that you have a very, very good contrast so you can pick out the number plate regs afterwards. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to do it in three parts. I'm going to give an overview of exactly what we get. I'm going to give a very detailed overview of the camera itself and the adjustments on it. And we'll give a, de a detailed overview then of adjustments and show the nighttime settings on this, etc. So uh, what do we get? Well, we could get two boxes, first of all. A single box here, which contains this bracket. And the, the unit simply bolts onto the bottom of the camera. And what we can do with this is uh, we can give us a full 180 degree rotation, okay? I'll demonstrate it in a little bit more detail in a few moments. We have the outer box here, which the camera comes in. So I'll just put it down here. And inside there, we have a user manual, which is in English, just gives the main specifications, little graphic, things like this. We have four plugs and four screws, which will be uh, used to mount the, the bracket I've shown a few mo moments ago onto a wall. What we have then is a screwdriver, which we'd use for doing some adjustment, and also for locking the fo focus and zoom into a, a set position. And we have um, two bolts here, which we'd use for actually mounting uh, this bracket here onto the base of the camera. What I might actually do at that point is, I might just demonstrate this now. If we picked up the camera here, and we came along, and we put the base unit on here. There's two holes we have here. You can mount in directly. And if you can imagine it mounted on the camera, like I've just shown, what we could do here is we could rotate the camera a full 180 degrees over and back. Well, even further, in fact, if we want to mount it differently. But, um, and also we can tilt and forward it backwards here. So we have a full uh, 180 degrees rotation there as well. This is very, very impressive in terms of the adjustment range on it. Uh, we have a torque uh, um, wrench here, and what this is basically, it's a security unit, so it will only fit the particular screws that are on the side of this, and uh, so it's important not to lose it because it's a very specific one, but if we come along here, I've removed two screws, one here and one here, and if I just undo the clips here, like we've done here, it allows us actually to lift the cover here. So the purposes of lifting the cover here is really to come in and we'll, we can get clear adjustment, we'll say. So the first thing to note is we have a little menu thing here that corresponds to these five buttons here. So there's an enter button in the middle, there's an up and down button, and there's a left and right button. And it allows us actually to scroll through the menus which you can bring up the screen, and we'll demonstrate that in a little while. And what we have here is we have um, a zoom, and we also have a, a focus um, a adjustment here. And what we do with these is we simply adjust it over and back, and we can see here we have a good range on it here. We can adjust it quite easily. And if we were happy with a particular position, we can screw it in, and then we can use the screwdriver actually to lock it into a very fixed position. Um, what do you call it? The lens on this uh, adjusts from 5 all the way out to 50 millimeters, so it's a great adjustment on it. If we look at the front of the camera here, we can see our white light LEDs that are here, and there's a total uh, of 30 of these. Okay, So these give extremely effective. The way this camera is working is it has a, a light sensor on it, so it's adjusting and it knows wh when it needs to have the LED lights on if not. So obviously it won't be using the LED lights during the daytime, but at night time they'll flick on, okay? Um, in terms of the outputs from this, uh, this is actually comes with the adjustment of the kit here. We just have a 2.1 millimeter um, power um, uh, 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 plug here, and it just plugs in directly here. We have something like a Cat5 cable possibly running here, and that would also have maybe an RG59 cable running in, and with a BNC connector to connect onto this, okay? And this would allow us to run the picture from the camera back to our DVR, for instance. Okay, so that's the two outputs we have in the back there. So our, possibly what we'll do at this point is we'll just turn over and focus on the, the actual TV screen here. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is we have a mock demonstration over here where I've made a false number plate and just hung it here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to knock off these lights. So there are two sets of lights here. So the first light I'll knock off here. And then the second light is going to be more dramatic in a few moments time. So I'm just going to actually come along here and I've hit the lights here. So what's happened here is we actually can come along here and we can see here that we can still read the reg number extremely clearly on it. So from that perspective, it's very, very, there's a very, very simple setup we've done here. We can see the general demonstration on it. 
So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to go to the camera at the back, and you're going to press the button in the center here, and I'm going to just bring up the main menus. And this will show us how we can actually come and adjust this. So we can see here, we can use the arrow up and down button to move through the various menus here in terms of setting up exposure, white light, backlight, etc. And when we go in there, we can press the enter button again. And then we'll say if we went to a position where we could adjust, we'll say um, the brightness levels or something like that, we can use the uh, right and left button to change it anywhere, we'll say from z setting zero to setting 100. So it's very, very good that we can adjust the camera uh, and if we had a monitor like this, we could be looking at it or a sort of a test meter, we can be coming along and adjusting it constantly on it. In terms of where this camera sits in the range of cameras that we do, you know, the applications of it are very, very obvious, would say. The thing that people really need is to be able to pick up reg numbers uh, very effectively because it's very effective at identifying who has uh, entered the premises or at what time. Um, like infrared cameras are far more popular, but we'll say for, uh, for actual uh, reading of reg numbers, this is far better simply because infrared can cause a glare on a, a reg, uh, where a white light is far more effective to actually bring out the contrast between the black lettering and the white background. And from that perspective, it can be very, very popular. So that's it anyway, an overview of our 25 meter white light NPR box camera available on the freetv.ie website.